the robin who came in from the cold. Once upon a time, there was a cheeky young robin that lived in a tree. He had beautiful red breast, bright dark eyes and soft feathers. He loved living in his tree. It was very tall and it had lots of tasty insects living inside it. But the best thing about his tree was that on a lovely sunny day, he could sit on the highest branches and look at Winchester Cathedral. The robin had always wanted to go inside the cathedral. It looked so beautiful, especially when the coloured windows glittered in the sunshine. Sometimes he would see groups of school children coming out of the cathedral and he would hear them talking excitedly about all the incredible things they had seen inside. He wanted to see all of those things too. But he knew there was no way he could sneak in through the doors without being noticed. And if he did manage to get inside, he might not be able to get back out again. The robin sat in his tree and watched people going in and out of the cathedral all day until the sun went down and everyone started to go home. When it started to get dark, the robin decided it was time to go to bed. He found a comfortable branch right in the middle of his tree, where the branches and leaves were all around him. He tucked his head into his red fluffy chest and went to sleep. In the middle of the night, the robin woke up with a jump. Bang! Crash! A huge thunderstorm had come to Winchester, and the rain was lashing down and the wind was howling. The robin was scared. He was only a young robin and he had never been in a thunderstorm before. The branches of his tree started to move around in the wind and the robin had to grip on tightly with his clawed feet to the branch. Then, with one giant gust of wind, the robin was blown off his perch and out of his tree. The robin was so startled that for a moment he forgot that he could fly. The rain was so cold and the wind was so strong that he was blown all around, all over the place. He was blown to the left and then blown to the right, then up, then down. He flapped his little wings and tried to get back to his tree, but the wind was too strong. He was blown from his tree towards the cathedral. Now remember, our robin is only a little bird and the cathedral is very big. He was scared when he thought that the wind would blow him against the stone walls of the cathedral. The wind got stronger and blew him closer and closer until he could see the pictures in the cathedral's stained glass windows. Then the robin saw that there was a big plastic sheet covering one of the cathedral windows. I bet it is at least a bit drier behind that sheet, he thought. With all his remaining strength, he pushed his wings as much as he could and flapped and flapped and flapped against the wind until he reached the plastic sheet and he ducked in behind it. The robin landed on a wooden plank behind the sheet and shook the rain from his wings plastic sheet flapped noisily in the wind, but at least it was dry where he was. I will just wait here for the storm to finish, he thought. Looking around him, he wondered why the plastic sheet was there. And then he realised the window behind him had a big hole in it. The windows in the cathedral sometimes needed to be taken away and repaired. So that was what was happening. The plastic sheet had been put there to stop the rain dripping down inside the cathedral. The hole in the window was just the right size for the robin to peep through. Now is my chance, thought the brave little robin, and with one swift hop he jumped through the hole and into the cathedral. The robin looked around in the dark and he was amazed. From where he was sitting, very high up on the window ledge, he could see some amazing things. 
great big stone columns, beautiful statues and paintings, colourful stained glass windows, bright orange tiles on the floors, and huge golden organ pipes. Wow, he thought, it's even more beautiful in here than I imagined it would be. The robin forgot how tired, cold and hungry he was and spent the whole night hopping around the cathedral and exploring. Eventually, he found a quiet spot high up behind a huge stone screen with carvings of people on it and went to sleep. In the morning, the robin woke up to the sound of music. The big golden pipes he had seen during the night were making really loud noises. The robin sat and listened to the beautiful music. And then, when he just couldn't stay quiet anymore, he took a deep breath, puffed up his little cheeks and started to sing along as only a robin knows how. After a while, a man who worked at the cathedral heard the robin's voice and was really surprised. What is a robin doing in the cathedral? he said. But he was quite pleased really, because the robin's song was so beautiful. The robin lived in the cathedral for a whole year. He was able to get in and out by using the hole in the window so that he could still get tasty bugs to eat. He sat on the chairs in the cathedral and sang all day long. The visitors in the cathedral loved seeing him and took lots of photographs of him. He was a celebrity. He built a nest high up where it was warm and safe and eventually he found a lady robin and they had some babies in the nest. They would hop out through the window to find tasty bugs for their babies. A few months later, after the robin's babies had grown up and flown away, the robin decided that he needed to move back into his tree. He had loved his time inside the cathedral, but he knew that one day the glass would be put back into the window. So he fluffed up his feathers, took one last look around the wonderful cathedral and hopped back through the glass. He flew back to his beautiful home in the tree and gave a big happy sigh. <sighs> and that is where he still lives today. The next time you visit the cathedral, see what birds you can spot hopping about on the ground or flying high up in the sky. If you see a robin, make sure you say hello. Thank you for listening.